Welcome back, yeah. welcome back, yeah. welcome back to yeah. Primary Teaching with Primary don't, Teaching. Don't, welcome back, yeah. welcome, welcome, yeah. welcome back, yeah. welcome, yeah. Back, yeah. welcome back to Primary Teaching, teaching with Dom. Hello and welcome back to Primary Teaching with Dom. I hope that you're having a good day, you had a good week and we are going to get into this topic. So this topic is a black back history. And it is going to be Black History Month and is a discussion about should, why your primary school or why your school should teach black history and why it is important. So let's get on with the video. So teaching black history is important for many several reasons, but being inclusive, giving children a broad range of like different education. Um, they need to learn history from the Stone Age, from the Egyptians, from, you know, um, British values. So why not include black history in there? And I'm not talking about the times we need to be, um, you need to put on the video someone of what's currently been happening in the world. I don't really need to mention everything because we all know it's all over the media. I'm not necessarily saying show them that graphic stuff there. I'm talking about different people from history that have invented or sometimes innovated things that we use today that makes our life a lot better, such as the ironing board, such as security systems and so on, but I will get onto that in a second. I feel that when it comes to black history, there's two strands to it. There's one strand is that there's a section of teachers that don't feel comfortable to teaching it because either they, are, they don't know about it or they're just not feeling comfortable because they don't want to give it the wrong information. If you feel uncomfortable by doing it, then you need to talk to someone about it. Or sometimes it could be you just don't know enough. So you can go on the internet and there's loads of different books, there's loads of different internet web sources because sometimes books take a while to get to us. So you can literally look on the internet, look at YouTube videos, research, research, research to help because it's very important that children understand what Black History Month is, understand what Black History is, and not the second strand, that is slavery. I hate, hate, hate when schools just focus on slavery. But to just so depict slavery, 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 is not good because children go into secondary thinking that black history is just about slavery. And it's not. Or I should say the big ones out there, and the big ones I mean like Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King Jr., um, all those people, um, Rosa Parks. They, everyone focuses on those people, but they tend to forget the other people, the people that... Um, the people that may not have been, you know, big, big, big people out there, but people that have innovated and people that have um, invented things that we use today. And I'm going to go through some. That means that if you're teaching black history and you're thinking, oh, what am I going to teach, you know, for history or geography, whatnot, here are some people that you can actually focus on. I'm not saying, <laughs> do I'm not saying just forget Martin Luther King Jr. and all the people. Please don't because they are mon very monumental in the black life in the black history movement. What's gone into the Black Lives Matter today? What I'm saying is, is that don't simply focus on those. There are so many other monumental people in Black history. Let's go through some. These are just picked off the internet. As so it's so easy to find, very, very easy to find. So in Google, I typed in um, black, pe black people in history who invented things. So what's come up is, and I already knew some of these because I did a degree in, I didn't do a degree, one of my modules in my third year um, in my history segment, I did 50% history, 50% early childhood studies, 25% of my, 50% of my history third year degree was black history. So I knew quite a lot anyway, but there are some that I just didn't know. So here are some now. So you've got, and please excuse me, these are the um, black inventors who made daily life easier. And please, please, please forgive me for saying these names wrong. So you've got Sari Boone, or Sari Boone, in 1892, who in, improved the ironing board, the iron board that we use today. One of the first black women in US history to receive a patent, she expanded upon the original iron board. So although the iron board was invented, she um, she became an innovator and transformed the iron board to what we know today. Um, the home security systems that we use today, co-invented by Mary Van Britten Brown in 1966. You've got the free light traffic light system. 
Does, who doesn't use that nowadays? Invent, invented by Garrett Morgan in 1923. The refrigerator trucks are the big truck to refrigerate the ones. Invented by Frederick McKinney Jones in 1940. The automatic elevator door. So those lift things that I hate going into. I hate them. I can't. can't so I hate the fact that I might get stuck in them. Um, invented by Alexandra Mills in 1887. Um, the elect. The microphone, invented by James E. West in 1964. You've got the carbon light bulb filament, which is the bulb, invented by Lewis Latimer in 1881. You've got so many people, guys. I can go through a whole list. And in what you could do, you could create a timeline of these people. You could have their pictures, create a timeline. Where do they fit in history? If you wanted to, you could even do a comparison to what it was before and then how it was innovated by that person and and the comparison you could do a comparison you could do an english um week where you could talk about the different innovations and at the end you could literally discuss which one that they prefer the most and make them make a um a letter or a diary entry or information text based on it so that's a lot of research going there you could do um geography so where were they in the world when it happened that kind of thing there's so many different cross-curricular things you can do with just that information and not once did i ever mention martin luther king or slavery <laughs> you know what i mean there's many different people and i really feel it's important to do it if you feel uncomfortable please talk to someone it is not right to feel uncomfortable and say i'm not going to do it because in general teachers we need to teach things that we may not necessarily know ourselves and not feel comfortable i have to teach different religions i may not feel as comfortable teaching because i don't know them but i still do them i take the time to research because it's important for children to get an all-round inclusive education so there's if there's schools that literally ignore black history and black uh, and even if it's just black um Black History Month, and if, if Black History Month in general, they just ignore it, it's not right and stuff that needs to be done about that. It needs to be taught. I'm not saying do the explicit content, don't show them videos of that thing, because I, I don't think it's for their age, nor is it our right to show them that it's for their parents if they consent to at home to do it. But it's very important that we at least give them information to know that there are things that we use today, like the iron bulb, the light bulb, the, um, the lift, the um, or the elevator you call it in, in the US and um, the traffic light system that has been invented or innovated by a person of black origin. I'm very passionate about it being taught and I hope it is but yes I <laughs> sorry that came off at the right but it's just very important I'm just it's very sad to know that some schools or people just skim over it and just talk about slavery. I think I saw someone um, on Instagram they said that their school had a module not a module it was like a english lesson where they had to write a they had to write a letter from a perspective of a slave i was like oh. um, no. <laughs> no 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 we're not gonna do that so yeah there we go i hope that it has helped you a little bit this video is said to be informative and i hope that you have so the spanish word of the day is going to be Nombre. So nombre means name. The so nombre, name. So you can get someone to say, oh, write your nombre on that sheet and it's your um, name. So I hope you have a good day and I shall see you in the next video. Hasta luego.